Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing the March Nail Boxy subscription with you. So this month they teamed up with a new to me brand called Dulls Nail Supplies. And this is the first time I've ever heard of this brand, so I'm really excited to give them a try. So if you'd like to see more in regards to my thoughts and opinions in regards to this brand, stay tuned. Alright, so I do have the March nail box to share with you guys today. I know we're in April, but honestly guys, there's just been a lot going on and I didn't get around sharing it. But I have it and I'm going to share it with you now. So let's take a look at what's inside. Okay, so at first looking at the box, we have a coupon code from Bliss Nail Supply. And then there's also another coupon code from my nail stuff so I'm definitely gonna make sure to check out these two companies never heard of them before I've never even heard of the brand that's in this box before so I'm excited for this as well and so all of our items packed neatly in this little pouch which I think is really cute I think the brand is called Dulce nail supplies I hope I said that right and then they also sent some nail decals in here as well. So this is interesting. So excluding the coupon code, there are nine items. So the one, two, three, four, five, six glitters and pigments, I think, and two gel polishes, and then the nail decals. Inside where the products were, we've got this little card that explains what's included. So you've got the two polishes, two spring sprinkles, two bright pigments, one spring dose decal, one small assortment of Parasoka crystals. So these crystals, which I didn't realize until just now, are supposed to be just as good as the Sorvosky crystals and I've heard people talk about these but I've never seen or tried them so I'm excited to have these in my collection as well and then you have the coupon from Bliss Nail Supply, coupon from My Nail Stuff and then the one coupon from Pandora Las Vegas and then there is a coupon for Dulce Nail Sprinkles as well at the bottom of this card I'm not sure what to call it and then it also gives you some information on the suite which i've never heard of house of beauty the suite so i want to look into them as well and it says we've been where you are textbooks and lectures can only do so much you need hands-on experience and we're here to give it to you with a constant rotation of professionally taught courses demos mixer, mixers vendors events and trainings we provide both as resources and space to take your craft to the next level then it gives you a discount code here and then this is the Pandora code that they included as well. So the first polish of the two from Dulce Nail Supplies that I got in this month's nail boxy that I'll be sharing with you. This one is called Orange Sickle. And this looks like it's going to be a very bright and fun orange. sickle in just one coat honestly guys i'm already impressed because this is a neon gel soak off gel polish and it is so pigmented and opaque in just one coat i'm definitely not gonna have to go in with a second coat the application is smooth the formula is creamy i might have to try and add some more of these gel polishes to my collection guys because right now i'm very very impressed and intrigued i just wish my camera was picking it up better but because of how vibrant it is it's throwing off my camera but my camera is not doing this color justice at all and here's what orange sickle looks like against my skin tone even here it's showing up darker than how vibrant it actually is in real life i wish my camera would do it justice but it is so beautiful and the second gel polish that i will be sharing this one is called sweet jelly and this looks like a very soft pink This 
one is Sweet Jelly. It is a very pretty, almost pastel y pink. It actually is just a smidgen darker than what's showing up on my camera. Again, the formula was amazing. It had great coverage and it was so smooth. So I am just going to go in with a second coat because I am seeing some sparseness in certain areas. But then again, that's expected with a color that is this light and pastel -y. And here we have Sweet Jelly in the second coat. So the second coat really helped with that sparseness that I was seeing. And it is such a delicate pink. It is so pretty. I wish my camera would pick up these colors better than they're showing you guys. But I promise you it's worth it. And here's what Sweet Jelly looks like against my skin tone. Again, my camera's making it a bit more muted than it actually is. But it is such a gorgeous pink, especially for spring and summertime. And you can just see how opaque it really is. So I love that. I'm impressed with these gel polishes already. And this is my first time trying them. So this is one of the glitters that was included in the box this month. Unfortunately, there's no name. I wish there was a name for this. But it is so pretty, as you can tell. So this one is like a hex glitter. Light blue, shifting purple hex glitter. Very, very pretty. So this is the next glitter that I have to share. Again, there's no names on these glitters. But this one looks like it has some holographic flowers, some pink hexes, some purple holographic flowers, some purple hexes. This is really pretty. You can really get the holographic shift from this too. So this glitter that I have to share, this one is basically one of the finer glitters. So this is like a fine neon almost lemonade -y kind of yellow and i would use this for like like a sugaring effect because of how fine it is it would work perfectly for that effect and the last glitter f um that came in the box that i'm gonna share with you is this orange one and as you can see it's like a very bright orange so this definitely is a mixed glitter so there's some um, of the finer glitters that was like lemonade where you could use it for sugaring but because there are some chunky glitters in here i wouldn't say that these would be best for sugaring there i would say that this is like i would say that this would more work for an encapsulated nail just because we have the mixture of the fine glitter the chunky glitter but there's some orange there's some opal glitters very very fun and next i have the pigments to share with you guys so there is a purple pigment and a reddish pinky pigment i've always wanted to try pigments but i've never gotten to and you can do so many things with them you can mix them with acrylic you can mix them with gel you can do ombre you can do gradients you can do a whole nail with a pigment and they work especially like if there's a color you're looking for you don't have it you can kind of create your own kind of color so i am intrigued to have these hopefully i can give them a try soon Ooh, this is brighter than I thought it was gonna be. But you really don't need a lot when you're using pigments, so this would last quite some time. Just like, for example, chromes. You don't need to use a lot when you're using them, so I'm excited. I, I, I can't wait to try these. I wanna see how they work. And lastly, I have the floral nail decals that were included in this subscription box for this month. I haven't, I've used them before, but I don't use them often. So. The fact that I have these ones and then the Valentine's ones from the previous box is pushing me to use them more often. They work great for nail art as well. Like maybe you're not someone that can draw. Maybe you're not that great at stamping. Like myself, I can't draw to save my life. So or you just want something as an accent. These decals work amazing. Or you just want something for an accent. Decals work perfectly for that purpose. And they're easy to use. You usually just cut out the image that you want. Like these ones seem like they're already pre-cut kind of. And then you just peel off the back, apply it onto the nail, apply your top coat, and you're done. So I like these. Like these are really nice spring flower ones. And here we have it for the March Nail Boxy Dulce Nail Supplies. So let me know guys, what are your thoughts? Have you heard of this brand before? Have you tried them before? I love this subscription box because it's honestly great to try different things and seeing as this is a brand that i haven't tried it's now opened my eyes that this brand exists 
and I really love their gel polishes so far so that's a plus that's something else that I would like to get I just need to try out their glitters and their pigments and see what I think about them along with the nail decals as well I'm thinking maybe I might do a swatch video for you guys of all my glitters that I have so far and just so you can see what they would look like out of the pot but I don't know I'll see so let me know what you guys thought. I will make sure to have everything linked down in the description box for you as well. As always guys, please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you will be notified when I do post more content. If you know anyone that might be interested in this video, go on ahead and give it a share for me. Until next time, stay glamorous.